Hi there. Are you just now realizing that I closed the door for recording? Time to suddenly want to get out of the door, even though you did not want to get out of the room the whole time for the last forever. Now you want out of the room, right? Because you can't? Is that how that works? I've closed the door, so you're stuck inside. Are you going to meow at the door until it opens? You are going to meow. Okay. Okay. I know. Go on. Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is another Akibento Snacky Presents Akibento. This is March's box because last time was February's box and that's just how time works. It's the top of my eating window right now, so I am starving because I haven't really eaten all day. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's in this box and then having some real food afterwards. Hopefully I don't stuff myself on what's in here. This is my third box. I've really enjoyed the first two. Let's see if that trend continues, eh? Ooh, oh, oh, okay. Gotta raise myself up for all the goodness. Starting with number one, this is Stick Super Mucho, Stick Super Mucho Ume, or Super Mucho Ume Chips. I think this is the stick one because they're stick shaped, which is basically like french fry shaped as far as I can tell. Open them up. I'm good at opening packages. I do it a lot. Ooh, they're very, they're very small. They're small. Ooh. Mmm. I see that they got very tiny french fries. Oh man. Hold on. Now I'm getting away. What is this? Because I have to read this. Okay. Find either umi flavor snack in our March box. Tangy Japanese plum flavor. Close to crunchy chips. Limited edition. Only available for the spring season. I've never had this flavor in my mouth before. Definitely tangy. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. It says slim bag on the top there, but I thought it said slime bag for a sec. What is happening with this person right here? And she's just like, ah, actually that's me. That's literally me. If if, if I knew what this was and you handed it to me, I'd be like, ah, and I would eat that. Pretty much just like that person, girl. I don't know. Ooh, we are starting off the month super strong. What is next? Next we have Nongshim octopus flavored taco chips. Taco chips? Taco chips? Let's try this out. See, I've discovered recently, and well, since doing these boxes, that actually seafood and chips are a weirdly good combination. They're okay. Why don't we talk about the taco chips? So taco is probably the proper pronunciation. It's one of the most popular Korean snacks. Born in the wide blue ocean, taco chips are a delight to look at as they are round and cute octopus shapes and their savory and salty flavor arouses the appetite. I'm talking about arousal. Let's see here. This is, this is not an, this is not an octopus. My floor just got a bunch. This, not octopus. This. Still not octopus. This is fish. This is just fish swimming up. Koreans, we need to talk about our food shapes. Oh, I, don't, I didn't lose that many. I lost like, I lost like five. I will say, they're scoops. So if you have like dip, I don't know if Koreans do dip. I think this would actually pair pretty well with like, I don't know, some like ranch dip. I'll pick those up later. When's the last time I vacuumed? Well, yes, I am trying to decide if I can eat those off the floor. I'm not telling you whether I did or not. What's next is this. Now, this is the awkward part here. This is A, something I've had before, and B, something that you have to prepare. So I don't know if I'm going to do that right now because I'm about to have dinner and this is like a meal. It's not something you can just snack on and put away and finish later. This is Spicy shrimp noodle cup. Is it a theme here? Spring feast. Is that, I guess it's a spicy shrimp noodle cup, a spring feast? Spicy shrimp cup noodle 
is a simple yet delicious snack full of irresistible flavors of real seafood. Identifying the many seafood bits in the soup will be a fun experience. I'm not gonna, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not gonna eat this here. I'm, I'm just not, I'm sorry if you're disappointed that I'm not going to microwave this for three minutes and then come back and tell you it's good and then put it away and not eat it. I've also had this before, spoiler alert. I like it, it's good. So I'm just gonna put that away. I'm not gonna experience it. This will be a much shorter video for it. You're welcome. Next, not even the last. I know what this is because I love Haichu. I eat Haichu all the time. Anytime I see Haichu, I buy Haichu. This is Haichu Sour Lemon with a taste of refreshing real lime taste. Hold on, it says lemon or lime. Those are two different flavors. It clearly says lemon on here. It even says lemon right here on this part saying what it is, but in the description it says real lime taste. Ugh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it's fine, it's just a mistake. It's not a, it's not the big, it's not a big deal, honestly. Who cares? Obviously it's lemon and you said lime one time. I've never had a sour one before. I've had, you know, mango, grape, strawberry, like all the normal ones. Even the, I had the fizzy ones. The fizzy ones are so good. What I love about Haichu is it's everything that Starburst should be. And that's it. Like Starburst aren't bad. And we've never had a Haichu before. Stop, hit, hit pause. I mean, they have them at the store. Go to the store, buy a pack of Haichu, come back and type in the comments, thank you, Mike, for making me buy Haichu. You're right. They are the best, way better than Starburst. And we'll just live our lives because this is a, this is good. I'm gonna save that for after dinner. This is the last thing. This is a bunch of letters that I don't know. This is a roasted and seasoned lover? Laver? Laver? Roasted seaweed is my all time favorite snack. Delicious and healthy Korean people eat seaweed as a yummy snack and they use seaweed to cook as well. Seaweed, huh? Like it's just so weird. Is that just because like, there's just a bunch of it and someone one day was like, try this stuff lying on the ground in the ocean. How do we like it? And they were like, yep, I'll get used to eating that because it's everywhere. I've got to imagine that that's how that conversation happened with somebody at some point, but in Korean, because that's the language that they spoke. I've had seaweed before, but this is roasted and seasoned. I don't know if I've ever had this seaweed before. I, I, these appear in your mouth. Mm. Okay, so it tastes like eel. It tastes like eel sauce, like an eel, like, like you know, unagi, whatever. It's like eating paper. It's so weird. I used to eat paper all the time back in the day and I got called a weirdo for it because I should have just been Korean the whole time because that's what they're, of course, this paper tastes a lot better than the paper I used to eat. I used to eat paper paper. Why? I don't know. I was like, it was a stupid kid. This, they just made it a culturally acceptable to eat sea garbage. Basically. And you know what? Thank you. Thank you for making this culture acceptable because I actually really like it. It's so weird. It's just weird. Not to the same extent. But it's like when you eat cotton candy and you put it in your mouth and you start chewing on it and suddenly it's like not there anymore. It's a very simple, but there's still like residue here. It's still good. It's still there. I like that a lot better than I thought I would. That's it. That's all my snacks. Let's put this together and see how I thought. Okay, so if this is your first snacky box that I've done that you're watching. Thank you for spending however long it took to get here to watch me eat snacks and tell you my thoughts on them. This is the most unusual boxing I do pretty much because it's like, hey, it's just a bunch of food. Tell me how you thought. Conveniently, there are five items in it and I usually rate things out of five and I get them one point per item depending on how I like it. But with the box, it's hard. With this box, I tend to go like, get it, don't get it. But I'm gonna do a quick review on just whether I liked it or didn't like it uh, on, on these. Starting with number one, I, I loved the, I love these still. There's still a whole thing down here. Gets my full vote, love it. Number two, the octopus sea things, they're, they're okay, they're not bad. I don't know if I'd ever like go to the store and buy these because I saw them and then like, man, I really want some more of those. I'm gonna finish the bag, I'm not gonna like throw them away or anything, but I like them, they're not, they're not bad by any means. Number three, spicy cup of noodle, I know I, it's, it's I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I didn't eat this and I didn't talk about it really. I've had it before. I feel like everyone and their mom has had a, you know, spicy cup of noodle phase where they just ate a bunch of spicy cup of noodles. I loved it. I love it. I will love it. I'll eat it. It'll be great. I, it's just, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this together, okay? It's good. Haichu. Pfft. I love Haichu. 
statues. So, yes, yes, sir. And last, the seaweed, the Korean seaweed. So weird, but yes. This box get, gets an all, all five yes from me. Yeah, so get this. I have not had a bad box of these so far. I have loved or at least liked most of the things that are in there. I think of the maybe, I don't know, 15 items I've gotten from them. I haven't liked maybe three of them. Maybe? My most favorite thing in this box, oof, that's tough. It's probably gonna be these, but maybe the Haichu. Uh, my least favorite is probably between these two. This is texturally weird, because it's like eating paper. This is just kind of, I know it's a little on the bland side. I would probably finish these before I finish these. And it's not saying I'm not gonna eat it, I don't like it, it's just the least my least favorite thing in here. Does that make sense? I'm just putting it into context. I'm not saying it's bad, because I actually like all of these things. They all get the Mike Case stamp of approval by this box. If you want to, I'm like pretty sure, forgot, I'm pretty sure these boxes are $15.99, but if you put in the code SNACKY on your first time, you get like three bucks off, making it $12.99. And like all of this for 13 bucks is like a Deal, I feel like. I'm sure if you go to the store, the Asian market and math these out, you could probably buy all of these for less than $13. I'm just gonna be frank with you, but this saves you the time from having to do that. Wondering if you even have an Asian market around you, the availability, like the curation, the shipping, I feel like $13 for this stuff is a pretty fair value. I like it, I do. I'm not being paid to say that. I wish I were. Hint, hint, but I don't think these videos get enough views to really warrant that. Uh, let me know what you thought in the downstairs area. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far, the normal stuff. If you wanna support my channel, there's ways you can do that down in the downstairs area below. You can send me stuff as well if you want to. And that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.